beef. It's what's for breakfast now. And Angie Horkin is here from the Beef Council to give us a few ideas on how to incorporate, especially ground beef, in some breakfast recipes. Good morning, Angie. Yeah, good morning. It maybe sounds kind of different. We don't really think about beef at breakfast, yeah. but having a lean protein um, along with eggs, mm. which are a great protein, really helps um, start your day. And, and keep you full. It does. It keeps you full and keeps you satisfied. Mm -hmm. So um, these two recipes use lean ground beef, okay. and we browned it, and we added seasonings to turn it into um, kind of like a country sausage. Yeah, and it really does taste it like It does too. taste like sausage. Onion powder, garlic mm -hmm. powder, sage, okay. either fresh or rubbed, and then a little bit of crushed red pepper. So all the things that you already have in your cupboard. Exactly. Um, add those in to your ground beef when you're browning it, mm -hmm. and you have a really, it does taste like sausage. Yeah, it's, it's a got a little kick sausage. to it. Yes. Now, this first recipe sounds kind of different. They're called beef sticky buns. We were intrigued. Because they look like sticky buns, but you use your ground beef sausage mixture, and then you add onion and mushrooms. I use fresh button mushrooms mm -hmm. and um, brown them up so they got nice and soft, and then fresh spinach. Ooh. So about three cups of spinach. Just put that in and let it wilt. And then we're going to use a frozen, or excuse me, a refrigerated tube pizza crust. Okay. And that's going to be our cinnamon roll. And that comes out in <laughs> a rectangle. Dough. Yeah, it comes out in a rectangle. Okay. So I just put a jelly roll pan out uh -huh. and kind of spread it out. If you got any holes, just put them back together. And then a uh, tip is make sure this is nice and cold. So pull this out of the refrigerator the, right the before dough is cold. you want to work with it, the okay. dough. And also, you want your ground beef mixture cold. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, because I even make it the night before because if it gets in, if it's too hot, it might kind of melt your pizza crust. Oh, all right. And you want it to all stay together. Yeah, you want it to stay so together. So you use the entire recipe. Is that a pound? It's a pound of, of beef. beef. Okay. With the vegetables. We're going to just kind of lay it on here. Okay. And then we're going to add some shredded cheddar. All right. About a half a cup. And then we're going to roll it jelly roll style. So just take it, yeah, roll it this up. This is the easy part, right, Angie? Just, yeah. Actually, you're doing a great job. But and my then, cr this pizza crust is not very cold. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. But yeah, we roll it up and then slice it into about eight slices. Uh huh. And, and put them the other way. Yep. Right. Slice them. Flip them over. Mm -hmm. 425 degree oven, about 18 minutes. Okay. So they get Beautiful. nice and brown, and the pizza crust cooks up. And then you can top them with cream cheese. Uh huh. So it look like cream cheese, but it's just you, not sweetened. No, it's not sweetened. It'd be Philadelphia whipped and put that on top. Or you could do a, um, the recipe calls for some jalapeno jelly if you like Ooh. a little spicier. Okay, now let's talk about this one quick. This a great another breakfast recipe, and we used a pizza crust okay. also, and then we used our. Uh, ground beef sausage mm -hmm. mixture, and then we put a little salsa in it, and we topped it with uh, fresh tomato, green onions, some Mexican shredded cheese, and then made some wells and put in eggs. And then you just so put it in the egg oven. Bake, put it in the oven, 425 degrees, same temperature, for about 15 minutes till your eggs are set, till the egg whites are set. Okay. And then you can slice it up. It calls for four, so it'd be four large servings. That's really? A fourth yeah. of this is a serving? Yeah. Wow. So it's a it's called beef breakfast pizza ole. And so it's a Mexican oh. flavor and serve it with a little more salsa. Some and more cheese and some sour cream, and it's delicious. Good to go. All the recipes available in a special beef for breakfast pamphlet. Angie will send it to you. Yes, call us, 1-800-728-BEEF. Or beeftips.com. Beef the recipes will have a link to that on our web channel. Thanks so much, Angie. Thank you.